as you know, it's it's definitely lunchtime. So uh, it's not only lunchtime for humans, but I think for butterflies <laughs> as well. I guess I'm going to learn how to feed the butterflies. And Jen is here with me. How are you? I'm good. How about you, Tom? I'm doing well. By the way, great looking Why, sweat. Thank like you. That. Nice That's and bright. Stuff. Yeah, that's great. the butterflies, I hope. I, know, I like that. What are, we, what are we doing here? So what we're going to do is a lot of people ask us how we take care of the butterflies, and it's great to have them here, sure but they is. need care while they're here. Yep. Um, so we're going to feed them. We have two different types of butterfly food. One of them is bananas, and the other one's sugar water. Okay. So the bananas look a little bit like what you would make for banana bread, a At little best. bit past what we want. Yeah. Um, but it's perfect for them. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix the sugar into the warm water. Right in here? Um, yep. So go ahead and put it in. Go for it. For it. Um, so it's a 1 to 10 ratio. It's a little bit different than hummingbirds, which is 1 to 4, oh. or bees, that's 1 to 2. Okay. So these guys don't quite like it too yeah. much, All right. but I have some that's already room temperature if you want to put it onto a feeder. Okay, so how much would I want to put on there? You're going to want to put it almost all the way up to the top of the sponge. Oh, really? And that way they can use their proboscis to actually, just like a straw, Fantastic. serve it right out. Okay. And then they actually, that's the reason we want those bananas to look like that. We're going to put them onto a platter for them. And oh. what it looks like on the inside is a little bit like a Slurpee. I'm assuming you want to open these up. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not sure that looks too uh, appealing for human lunch, but hey. Butterflies, the butterflies yes, right? love it. Okay, where does um, that go? So we're going to put it right over here All right. into the shade a little bit. Good stuff. So this is the same stuff people can do for the yard if they actually want to attract butterflies into their yard okay. also. It that's works a great for native point. species also. Oh, that sounds really good. Now, the butterfly exhibit, it's winding down, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Labor Day is our last weekend for 2017. But I know a lot of us at Coast staff are really excited, and I hope the guests are too. We're hoping to bring them back sometime in the future. Well, it's been a wild success, it's hasn't great. it? People just seem to love it. Oh, and they're so beautiful. They are. Jen, so, thank you so much. Thanks,